Mayor-elect Rick Blangiardi says he'll work to restore trust after several federal investigation scandals involving the city. He spoke with Gina Mangieri about that and what his first-year priorities will be. I asked the incoming mayor how he will approach transparency and ethics in the wake of federal investigations probing the county. Also, where climate and the environment stand on his priority list. Rick Blangiardi inherits a county apparatus that's been under the microscope quite a bit in the past few years, from the Kealoha scandals that rocked the police and prosecutors' departments to the pending federal investigations involving Keith Kaneshiro, former corporation counsel Donna Leong, a subject letter to Caldwell Managing Director Roy Amamiya, and multiple subpoenas to Hart. To the extent that there has been a breakdown in trust, and, and including federal investigations of, our apparatus of public safety at the prosecutorial level. Well, what can you do differently? Well, I think first and foremost, what's happened is Steve Arm has now been elected our prosecutor. So that's going to be a big step. We know what we've been through. And, and looking backwards, looking in the rearview mirror is not going to solve where we need to go. I'm looking through the front windshield right now on what's possible. Those of us now, myself included, in the role that I'll be in, held accountable, need to be at their very best. And that's going to be my expectation of everybody. Blanchardi's predecessor established an office focused on sustainability. And just this week, issues of climate change and the environment appear headed to near cabinet level significance in the incoming President Biden administration. Is that executive level sustainability role something you envision uh, retaining in your cabinet structure, or will anything be restructured? Yes, I think we'll, we'll, we're going to be meeting with them. Uh, the folks in charge right now, but we can't deny ourselves or kid ourselves that sea level rise is real. We may have to modify some of our plans. We have to be a little bit more balanced on a short term going forward uh, than some of the extreme measures that I think were taken before. But I want to see what all of that means once we have those kinds of conversations. If I put on our calendar to meet again a year from now, what do you hope to tell me about your accomplishments of your first year looking back? I would hope to tell you that first and foremost that we are seeing our tourism come back in a really good, healthy way. That we've gotten our people back to work. That we're dealing in a very, a very solid way with our chronic homeless. That we've made some real inroads on the big issues. That plus, hopefully, we will have come up with a game plan and decisions about rail that will make some sense. Because right now, there is more uncertainty than certainty about that project, and that's not anything to do with myself or anybody else. But we're going to have to deal with it. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.